Oh, it's getting ready to rain, God him. Amen. God is getting ready to rain down blessing out there. Amen. I just feel the rain represent the blessing. Amen. We're gonna be dealing with Amen. First we're coming from First King, Amen, eighteen and forty one. And I'm just letting you know in your life today, you need a word from God. God says it's your season for the rain to come down. It's your season for the blessing to come down. It's your season. So God said he will move in due time and do what? Season. season. So it's your season. It's getting ready to rain even at your house. Even at your household. It's getting ready to rain on your marriage, your family. It's getting ready to rain on your finances. It's getting ready to rain. Amen. We coming from 41, uh, uh, 1 King 18 and 41. And it says, Elijah said unto Abraham, get thee up. Eat and drink, for there is a sound of a bounty of rain. And God is saying there is a bounty of rain. It's getting ready to hit your household. The rain, even the blessing, God get ready to rain down the blessing in your house. God says, get ready for the abounding. And Elijah said unto Amen. Amen was a, a king. Amen. We know Elijah was a prophet. And he began to be <coughs> prophesied to Abraham said, get thee up. Yeah. Get thee up. And God is saying today, get thee up. You might be laying in your bed looking at TV, but God is saying, get thee up. Amen. You might be laying back on a rocking chair, but God is saying, get, get thee, thee up. up. Get up. Get ready for the abound to the rain. Get ready for the blessing. God said, I heard your cry. And I heard, amen, what you've been dealing with. I heard what you've been going through. And God said, I heard your cry. I heard your prayer. God is saying, get up. Why sit there and die? It's time to cross over to a new land, to the other side for your blessing. And God said, get thee up. And he says here, eat and drink. Amen. And he said, for there is a sound, a yeah. sound of a trumpet. God said, blow the trumpet out of all real shot. God said, make a joyful noise out there. Hallelujah. The worship, the praise. God said, get up. It's time for the abound to the praise to break out. It's time for the abound to the blessing come to take out. Amen. And so God is saying, why him? For there is a sound of the abound to the rain. It's getting ready to come to your house. It's getting ready to rain on your financial. It's getting ready to rain on your job. Amen. But you got to have faith to believe about the rain on today. Amen. As you hear my voice on this TV, only if you believe that it's getting ready to rain. The rain represents the blessing. Rain represents healing. Whatever need in your life, God is getting ready to do it for you today. Yes, and we see here in verse 41, Elijah said, I re re repeat this, and Elijah said unto Ahab, get thee up. He gave him specific directions. Mm -hmm. He said, get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of an abundance of rain. In other words, he's telling him, Elijah the prophet was telling Ahab the king, look, I know it's getting ready to rain because I've been walking with God for a very long time. I am his prophet. I have a history of walking with God mm -hmm. and I know it's getting ready to rain. Mm -hmm. There is going to be, there is a sound of an abundance of rain. So Elijah was foretelling, mm -hmm. he was prophesying Amen. that there was coming a blessing. There was coming a rain. A rain was getting ready to, to pour down. And he was giving Ahab the instructions to get up. Why sit there, Ahab, and die? Why sit there and be despondent? Why sit there and be discouraged? Why sit there and be worried? Why sit there and get just up. tell yourself nothing is going to happen? Mm -hmm. Obey my words. Mm -hmm. Get thee up. Get up. Because there's a sound of an abundance of rain. And God is saying to you today that the rain is coming down on your household Amen. today. Hallelujah. There's an abundance of rain. Your latter day shall be greater Hallelujah. than the former. The latter rain, rain shall be greater than the former rain. Mm -hmm. Your blessings that you had in the past is going to supersede, superimpose mm -hmm. upon your blessings yeah. that God is getting ready to let down on you right now. The windows of heavens are going to open and the rain, the rain, the latter rain is going to come down upon you in God's blessing. And man of God, woman of God, boy, girl, child Hallelujah. of God, the blessings of God is getting ready to overtake ah, you this year, 2013. Year. I prophesy that to you. Those of you who are going in lack, who are going despondent, who are going in poverty, who are doing without, who are just making ends meet, I prophesy to you that your days of lack are over and that the rain that's coming down from heaven will overtake you and blessings will manifest in your life.
Amen. So he said to him, there's, an, uh, there's a sound of an abundance of rain. Now watch this, verse 42. So Ahab went, so he obeyed, uh -huh. to eat and to drink. Uh -huh. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, and he, he cast himself down to the earth and put his face between his knees. So Ahab obeyed what the prophet said uh -huh. to do. Uh -huh. And Elijah the prophet went to the top of Carmen, Mount, Car Mount Carmel, and he put him, cast himself down to the earth and put his face between his knees. This is a sign and signification of humbleness. So Elijah humbled himself before God. He put his face between his knees. I can just imagine that he was praying and he was crying out to God to send the rain and thanking God because he knew that God was getting ready to send the rain and to make a believer out of King Ahab who probably was doubting a little bit I don't know but just let's think let's just imagine that he was probably doubting a little bit so Elijah called upon his God and he put his face between his knees and he cast himself down upon the earth and the Bible indicates that he put his face between his knees and we can just imagine that he was crying out to God child of God when you put your head down when you kneel on your feet kneel on get on your knees and begin to pray because the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, woman, boy, or girl, still avail it much. And God will still hear your prayers. He will still honor you. He will still acknowledge Amen. your prayer. He will still acknowledge your supplication. He will still honor your petition. He will still honor your prayer, your fasting, your crying out to him because he knows that you're standing in a need of miracle time. And God is going to make sure that whatever you're praying, whatever you're believing him for, whatever you're fasting for, He's going to make sure that he brings that to pass. He's going to make sure that that rain that is coming down from heaven falls upon you and it comes down in the form of blessings. Praise him. Amen. The Bible said Elijah went to the top of yes. the mountain. The Bible said Moses went to the top of the mountain. Amen. To get the Ten Commandments. Amen. The Bible said Jesus went to the mountain to pray. Amen. And the Bible also says that Elijah went to the top of the mountain. Yes. He began to pray he put his face between his knees yes. a sign of humbleness yes he did and, and the position that he was in, it was uncomfortable. Yes. And sometimes when you pray, you got to get in an uncomfortable position. position to pray. Hallelujah. And the Bible said Isaiah began to turn his face to the wall. Mm. And he, when he turned his face, he was standing up. And sometimes you got to get in, a, in a, 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 a position where you got to pray, where you need a word from God. Some people go in the closet and pray. Some people go in the restaurant and pray. Some people even go in their car and pray. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said he put his face between his knees. The Bible said he kept praying. And mm -hmm. see, whatever you're going through on today, you say, I don't pray, I don't pray, and nothing happened. And I hear God say, keep praying. Mm -hmm. The Bible said the man of God, Elijah, a man of God, a prophet, mm -hmm. a prophet, he put his faith between him, and then he began to pray for that rain. Mm -hmm. And see, whatever you're going through today, you got to keep praying for that marriage. Mm -hmm. Keep praying for that job. Mm -hmm. Keep praying for your healing. Keep praying for your son. I don't care how bad he is. I don't care about the drugs he do. I don't care if he's in drugs. I don't care if he's in prison. Yes. Keep praying for your son. Amen. Keep praying for your daughter. Don't give up on Jesus. Amen. Prayer began to change things. Yes. Many of the uh, prayer began to change things. So God said today that he's getting ready to answer your prayer. Amen. He prayed and he prayed and he prayed. He was in an uncomfortable place, but he kept praying. And the word for you today, God said, keep praying. I'm coming. Keep praying, yes. things gonna begin to break. Keep praying, things gonna begin to open. Keep praying, those gonna open up for you. So we're gonna go to the verse 43. 43. And it says, and said <clears throat> to his servant, go up. This is Elijah still speaking mm -hmm. to Ahab. Mm -hmm. Go up. Go up now. Look towards the sea. Now he's still giving him instructions. Ah, look towards the sea. He's telling the direction mm -hmm. and where to look. And he said, went up and he went up and looked and said there is nothing Hallelujah. and he said elijah go again seven times so elijah said to ahab go up his servant, his servant and look towards the sea he gave him a direction uh -huh. 
He gave him some instructions with directions in the, the way to look. And so the servant obeyed and he said, there is nothing. So sometimes God is getting ready to bless you and he will put you in a position where you have, and he'll tell you where to go, what to do, and just to stand still to see his salvation. But you may not see nothing right then. That's coming to discourage you. But I want you to know you just need to stand still and see his salvation. You just stand there a little while longer and I guarantee you that he will come through for you. So Ahab was saying, look at here, Elijah, I'm here. I'm doing what you said to do, but I don't see nothing. I don't see no rain. Nothing's happening. So Elijah said, go again seven times. So sometimes you have to repeat the steps. Ah, you may not get it the first time. You may not get it the second time. You may not see it the first time. You may not see it the second time. You may not see it the third time. But when you go again, ah, that's the operative word, again. Repeat it again seven times. Go again seven times. Sometimes you have to do it again mm -hmm. so you can see the end result. Sometimes your faith is going to be put to a test. Sometimes your faith is going to be put on trial, just like how Abraham's faith was put on trial. When God told him to offer up your only son Isaac to me. Abraham did that, knowing that if Isaac were to die, that God had the power to raise him back from the, that's faith. So I'm saying to you that when something does not look like it's going to happen, don't let the hand of God go. Don't let him go. Don't give up on God. Try it again. Because if God spoke it, he is a man that honors his name above his word, honors his word above his name. And you need to give God the praise and the glory right now, because that's the God that we serve. Now look at this verse. And it says here in 44, and it came to pass. At the seventh time that he said, behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. So here we have manifestation. Something's getting ready to happen. Now the prophet told him, go again seven times. And the Bible indicates, ah, on the seventh time, he saw a cloud arising out of the sea. Now, the first one was go and look towards the sea. And now he said, look, now he's telling Elijah, I see a cloud raising out of the sea. Didn't he tell him in the verse before previous verses, look towards the sea. So the prophet knew what he was talking about because God had spoken to him and he had a history of walking with God. So he knew not to give up on God. So it was Ahab who had to be made a believer of. And so he tells Elijah, I see a cloud raising out of the sea and it's like the hand man's hand. Uh huh. And he said, go up, say unto Ahab, prepare thou chariot and get thee down that the rain stop thee not. Amen. Let's go to verse 43. And further, and he said, and he said unto his servant, Yes. Go up now. now. Amen. Servant represent to serve. Serve. And you know what the Bible says, servant is to serve is the best gift. Amen. When you serve. Amen. And it says that, and he said unto his servant, Go up now. now. And, and sometimes when your pastor give you direction, he mean for you to do it then. Mm -hmm. Or she mean for you to do it then. Amen. And see, he said, go now. He put the man on his servant. He said, go. And he said to him, servant, go, go up now. now. Now he'll go out today saying for you to go up now. You've been down in Lodabar for mm -hmm. a long time. Amen. You've been, amen. Hallelujah. You've been down in Lodabar for a long time. A, a place, a dry a place of let a, a place of brokenness. But I hear God saying today, go up now. now. It's time for you to come up out of Lord of God. Yes. It's time to come up out of poverty and let. It's time to come up out of sickness. Come up out of confusion and men. God is saying it's time to come up out of that wheelchair. Come up out of that death bed. Come up out of that care. God is saying today, go up now. Mm -hmm. He said, look toward the sea. Mm -hmm. And see, your pastor going to give you direction for the blessing. Yes. Amen. He's going to tell you which way to go, what to do, and how to do it. The Bible said, obey my prophet, and you shall be blessed. Mm -hmm. And it said, and he went up. He went up a sign of obedience. Amen. He was obedient to leadership. The Bible said, obey them in the book of Ephesians. Obey them that rules over you. And so he went yes. up as a sign of obedience. And he looked and said, 
there, I need you to underline this for me. Mm -hmm. There is nothing. nothing. And I just want to deal with nothing on today. And mm -hmm. then you say you don't have nothing to eat. You don't have nothing to drive, nothing to wear. Hallelujah. You say you don't have nothing. You don't have a husband. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You don't have a job. You say I don't have nothing. Yes. You say I've been saved for a long time. I've been faithful. I've been serving God. But I, I don't have nothing. nothing. He went up. He went and he went up and looked and said, there is yeah, nothing. nothing. He obeyed mm -hmm. Elijah, but he said he didn't see nothing. He didn't see anything. And, and the Bible said you walk by faith and not by sight because your eyes will deceive you. Mm -hmm. See, the spirit realm is already done for that house. It's already done for that job. It's already done for that car. Amen. It's already even done for your ministry. Amen. The Bible said you walk by faith and not by sight. So we go by, we looking at what's going on in our marriage. We, we looking at what's going on in the job. We looking at our bills. We looking at our book account. See, amen. The Bible said you walk by faith and not by sight. But the servant said he didn't see nothing. Amen. And then and uh, Elijah said, and then he said, go again seven, seven times. times. And yeah. seven means Seven is God's number of perfection. Mm -hmm. Seven means perfection, complete. Seven means everything is already done, even dealing with the neighbor issue where everything was made whole for her. That seven represents, amen, perfection. And God said seven times, you don't, you better, you went to get a car, you didn't see nothing. Mm -hmm. You went to put application in, resumes, and get a job, you didn't see nothing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You went to church, you didn't see nothing. Amen. Yeah. You went to the doctor, and he's still telling you got high blood pressure, sugar, diabetes, cancer. You, he's still diagnosed you with all these issues, and you said you didn't see nothing. So the servant said, I don't see nothing. Amen. And God is saying, I got you in a place where you, amen. He got you in a place where there can't nothing help you. Now, mama can't help you. Sister can't help you. Brother can't help you. Family and friends can't help you because you don't see nothing. And then God said, I got you in a place where you're going to have to put your head between your knees. You're going to oh, yeah. have to pray. You're going to have to reach worship me. The Bible says every knee shall bow, every tongue shall, shall confess. confess. And God said, I got you in a place where you don't see nothing. Everything was going good for you, but now you don't see nothing. Your mm -hmm. bills were paid, now you don't see nothing. Amen. You had a job, now you don't see nothing. Amen. Now you went to the doctor, you don't see nothing. You don't see no changes. And God said, now you're in a place of nothing. And see, when you're in a place of nothing, you just pray for a miracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God is going to bring you from the brooks. Yes. God is going to, God said, you're going to be the head and not the tail. You should be above and not, not beneath. beneath. Hallelujah. The enemy is mocking you. The enemy is laughing at you. He said, you're nothing. You ain't got nothing. You ain't going to be nothing. And a lot of people have said, oh, you're going to be like your dad. You're going to be like your family. You ain't going to be nothing. And, and he said he didn't see nothing. He, when he said he didn't see nothing, he said, go again, again seven, seven times. times. And see, just imagine if you tell one of your servants in your church to go do something seven times. Mm -hmm. They're going to be complaining. Yes, complaining. Amen. Why I got to do this? I told them it wasn't no rain. They didn't see nothing. Amen. But we're going to go on down to the verse, amen, what, uh, verse what, 45? Yes, 45. Right now yes. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds mm -hmm. and wind, and there was a great rain, mm -hmm. and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. Mm -hmm. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah the prophet mm -hmm. and he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel so Ahab outran Elijah uh, uh, no Elijah outran Ahab who was riding on the chariot with horses so mm -hmm. he outran some horses that's another discussion but anyhow go ahead Amen. And the Bible says here for the fire, and it came to pass, and meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds yes. and the wind, and there was a great rain. Uh huh. A great rain. See, that great rain represents Elijah beginning to call, Elijah begin to pray. Yes. He began to call down the rain from mm -hmm. heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. He called the rain down. Amen. And when Elijah prayed, Something happened. Yes. See, when you go to the prophet, something gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. When you go to church, something gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. You can go in that suicide, but you're going back home, all right. Yeah. You go in that sick, but you're going back home well. And when you go in there with problems, but you're going back home without a problem. Amen. The Bible says here that a great rain a great came. Rain. Because this man, he be put in his place. He began to put himself in a position of uncomfortable yes and sometimes you got to get uncomfortable god amen you got that and the bible said when he prayed he was by himself yes and sometimes you got to get you got to stood away and pray by yes. yourself he yes. put his head between his knees he began to pray for that rain come down yes. and the bible said he didn't ask 
for the rain one time. Yeah. The boss said he kept asking and kept asking Excellent. and kept asking until that door opened. The boss said, ask, and you shall receive, knock, and the door shall open. And, and the Bible said that the supernatural rain came down. It came down. It represent a supernatural miracle took place. Mm -hmm. God began to use Elijah to walk in signs, Mon wonders, wonders and, and, miracles. and miracles. God is getting ready to bring miracles back to the church, sign one of the miracles, amen? And he did a supernatural miracle. Mm -hmm. He called rain down from heaven. heaven. And God said, I will open up the windows of and heaven, pour, uh, heaven and, and pour out your blessing. God want to pour a blessing to you. And see, that super, uh, a great rain came. Mm -hmm. And God is saying today, there's a great rain. Mm -hmm. Get ready to come to your house. Come to your house. There's a great rain. Get ready to come to your job. There's a great rain. Get ready to hit your financial. Your books don't dry up. Hallelujah. You're in a place you say you don't see nothing. You don't have the money for your rent. You don't have the cut no money. You don't have a job. You don't have a resident. And I, I'm looking at some people that you'll stand with other people's out there. But God said you're going to move in your own place. Yes. There are some people out there, you're going to ride with somebody else. But God said you're going to get your own car. Hallelujah. And God is saying there's some people out there that's not working. You don't put resume to resume. You didn't see nothing. But God said get ready for the abound to that supernatural miracle with that birth in your household. Hallelujah. And get ready to birth in your marriage. Hallelujah. And God said, I see the cry of my people. I'm going yes. to hear. I'm going to deliver. I'm going to break them out of bondage. Because the Bible says you walk by faith and not by sight. And God will have you walking by faith. Yes. Because God said, I'm getting ready to hash your faith to a new level. A new see, level. faith is walking on nothing. I don't see nothing. I don't have nothing. Yeah. That's natural That's faith, faith That's right faith. now. You That's don't faith. see how you're going to pay the rent. You don't see how you're going to do this and do that. But God will make a way out of no way. Mm -hmm. God all what show up? Amen. It might be on the end. You might need it, the blessing on the uh, March the fifth. But God might come the thirty first. So God wants your faith to come up. Your faith is shaking. Mm -hmm. Your faith is shifting out there. Amen. Your faith is being tossed to and fro. To and, and God said, "I'm dealing with you on today. I want you only if you believe. Who report should you believe? You should believe the report of the Lord. Hallelujah. What did God say? Amen. The devil will mock you. The devil is laughing at you, saying you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to be nothing. You ain't going to get the house. You ain't going to get the job. But God said, just because you don't see nothing, that don't mean I'm not moving. Amen. God is moving on the other side. Supernatural rain get ready to hit your household. Amen. Supernatural. That's a supernatural rain get ready to hit the household. Amen. And the verse 46, in, in the hands of the Lord was on who? Elijah, the prophet. I don't want to preach without God's yeah, hands on me. Me either. Amen. I don't want to preach in self. I don't want to preach in flesh. I, I, I'm just like David, Psalm uh, 51. He said, God, whatever you do, mm -hmm. just don't take your spirit away from me. The Bible said that hands was oh, on Elijah. Elijah. If God's hands was upon you, you can get a prayer there. Yes. The Bible said a righteous prayer of that is much. Available. Amen. Of that is much. Amen. See, Elijah was a righteous man. He was a Holy man, amen. He was a man that feared God. He was a man that walked in supernatural miracles. He began to, he burst miracles. There way he went, miracles began to take place. But the Bible says here that the hands of God was on Elijah. Yes, and, 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 and I like that because when, when it says the hand of God was upon Elijah, that lets me know that whatever Elijah spoke Amen. as God's prophet, mm -hmm. God honored those words and he brought those words to pass. Amen. And whenever God's hand is upon a woman, mm -hmm. a man, mm -hmm. a servant of his own, Amen. you better believe when they speak, decree and declare Hallelujah. something, gonna it's happen. gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Because that's God speaking through them. Amen. Ah, so he can get something to the earth realm. Mm -hmm. So Elijah, having walked with God, mm -hmm. and, and see, Elijah Elijah had faith. Mm -hmm. He had faith. Ah, mm -hmm. he had faith because he knew he had walked with God and he had done some miracles before. Amen. He did. He so did this was nothing new to him. He knew when he decreed, he declared something, and he knew when he spoke something under the unction of the Holy Ghost that God will bring it to pass because he knew he had a history of walking with God. He knew. He, when he spoke something, God will bring it to pass. He called rain down from heaven. He also called fire down. Fire, hell, uh, amen. On my camera, he oh, come on fire. here. So this is nothing new mm -hmm, to him. Mm -hmm. He knew how to get the hand of God to move because mm -hmm. he knew he was the servant mm -hmm. of the Lord. He knew he was the servant of the Most High. And when God's man, woman, speaks a word, his prophet, his prophetess speaks a word, you better look out. 
is going to come surely to pass. It's coming, it's coming. Ah, bless his name. He was a faith man. Amen. He faith was a man. faith by prophet, faith. walking mm -hmm. by faith, doing the things God has called him to do. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the book of Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. The 28th chapter, and we're closing this thing out for mm -hmm. you, and we're going to begin, let's look at verse 12. We're going to do this quickly for mm -hmm. you, and it says, The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the works of thine hands. And thou shalt lend to many nations. And thou shall not, not borrow. borrow. Shall not, shall not. Verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not, not the, the tail. tail. And shall thou shalt be above mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt shall not be beneath. beneath. Let's stop right there. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. And it says here that in verse 12, and it says, The Lord shall open unto you his good, good treasures. Good treasures. Yes. Good treasures. Amen. You got treasures you don't know nothing about yet. Treasures you haven't seen yet. Yes. Treasures you haven't heard about yet. God got blessing in store for you. I have seen, you have heard what God got in store for you. And it said that to give the rain unto your land in his season. season. And God is saying that, you said, God, how long? God is saying today is your, your season, season for the rain to come. He said, you, you, God said, do season. Do season. He said, let us not be weary in, in well doing. doing. We Lord, shall reap season. if we faint not. And God is saying today, the word is today, God is saying, is your, your season. It's your season. Mm -hmm. It's your season for a turnaround in your marriage. Yes. It's your season for a promotion. Yes. It's your season for that business. And I'm, I'm talking to a young man, and as you, you listen to me on this TV broadcast, and God says, it's your season to go forth in your ministry. You have been put out of church. You have been put down in churches. Amen. But God says, it's your season. It's your season. And God says, what I call, I qualify, said the Lord thy God. And I see this young man, God is telling me to tell you, it's your season for ministry. You're going to go forth. You're going to be using mightily. You might not have the mind. You might not have the house. You might not have the car. But God says, it's your season. And as you hear us on this TV today, it's your season. And we're just going to point our hand at the people today. We just bless your marriage for your season today. Yes, we just bless you with this job. It's your season to get this job. We pray for you to get this job right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for this. It's your season for this job right now. In the name of Jesus, yes, it's God. your season for this new house. In the name of Jesus, it's your season for a promotion. Oh, Amen. You've been working there for a long time. It's due, yes, due, due for a promotion. Shake it's your it season for that promotion, said the Lord thy God. It is a due shake season for your son to come out of jail, said the Lord thy God. And God says, it's your season to go forth, young woman. It's your season to go forth, young man, to go forth even in your ministry, said the Lord thy God. It's your season for TV broadcast, your season for radio broadcast. God says, it's your season to be healed. And God says, it's your season to come out of that wheelchair. It's your season to be blessed. And we it's your season, God gonna do a blessing in your marriage. So just go on that website and be a blessing for today. God bless you.